Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Man United Central. I'm your boy Luther. Listen guys, this is our last video for this year, 2023. Guys, I want to start with thanking you and I appreciate you for your support for this channel because you know what guys, we are at 863 subscribers thanks to you and uh, you know what? 2024, let's go to a thousand. I appreciate you guys for hitting the like, subscribe, notification bell. That being said, let's get to the show. Let's get back to the video. All right, man, listen, we lost yesterday. What is new, right? Uh, we, we one step up, one step down, like usual. Typical United, unacceptable. We had that fantastic comeback against Aston Villa, but yesterday against Nottingham Forest, it looks like, I mean, we had no idea on how to play again to me down tools those boys those players did not show up right yes we found that equalizing goal with rashford and more kudos for you know what ganacho to me was my man of the match yesterday because you know what he was one player honestly that can say was fighting was trying to do something and he had that interception he got the ball passed it to rashi rashi put put it away you know what? I got to give it to Rashi. That was a nice goal. Very composed for a striker's goal. I liked it. But after that, you know, you can you can tell that Nottingham Forest are going to score on us because we didn't have the composure. We were not focused. Um, you know, the whole team was not gelling. Typical what we have seen this entire season so far, right? Ten Hag, what does he have to do to fix that? Because you know what? If we're going to go forward, this has to change so how do we change you know what i gary neville on his uh, podcast after the match yesterday put it really you know he put it very well he said look uh, the first item for sir jim and his team is to make to put those building blocks together building blocks off the field we realize that the team needs refreshing right obviously some players need to be booted out of the team because they need to go but also off the field, things have to change. And so, so Gary Neville said this, though the performance at City Ground highlighted United's need to add fresh blood to the squad, Neville insists Ratcliffe's main aim should be to correct the club's off field problems first, such as appointing a new chief executive officer, sporting director and head of recruitment. Right? So guys, listen, any team to be successful, you need these pieces to work. Right? Right now, Ten Hag does not have those pieces. None. He's running blind. He's by himself in a so-called, I could say, an island. So how is he going to be successful without those pieces? If you look at of all successful teams, you know, like Liverpool or Brighton, um, who is a, it's a small team, but they have those pieces Know, lined up they work together because all those pieces need to work together with the fourth piece, fourth piece who's the manager to make the team successful united is not going to be successful if we do not have those pieces so right now i know we are some people will be like calling for oh you know what we need to make some changes and the easiest change to make obviously is people will be pointing out oh we should let ten Hag go right but with Sir Jim and his team coming on board, this really, I don't think it's going to be their main priority right now, right? There are other things going around the team, outside the team, as those three that the guy never pointed out, those need to be resolved. Once those pieces come on board and they, they need to assess how Ten Hag is going to work when he has a proper structure, just like uh, Guardiola had pointed out, there's no structure at United because without the structure, you know, he's not going to be successful, right? So I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I really hope that Sir Jim and his team, Sir David Brailsford, was at the game yesterday and the game at Aston Villa. So I think he has seen uh, different aspects of United. We can play well, push for a comeback. Amazing at Aston Villa. And yesterday, he saw the other side of the team, which, you know what, uh, we the team could down tools and they don't know how to fight and we lose like yesterday we should never have lost against uh, nottingham forest this nottingham forest has not beat us i think i saw something like 29 years 
So it's unacceptable for us to lose. That game, we should have gone in knowing that we have the bounce from the comeback. We push on and get another win. But we didn't, which is devastating for us Man United fans. But it's one of those things I think now for all you Man United fans and us, we've kind of used to this team. Like, oh my God, we're going to be very excited one game because they played fantastic. The next game, down. You know, that's how I felt yesterday after watching that game. I did not have any energy to sh uh, to come here in front of you guys and say, you know what, our team sucks. We know our team sucks, right? And I didn't have any energy, man. I said, you know what, I'm going to take the day. I'm going to relax. I'm going to have a couple of drinks because, you know what, this team is too much sometimes. But that's why we love it. We love this team. And we are going to get better. I believe that. With Sir Jim, with his team, who are professionals, who know what they're doing, they can get us to where we need to go. Keep hope alive, people. I'm your boy, Luther. I appreciate you guys again. Stay well. Salut. For those of you who have already seen Happy New Year, Happy 2024. You know what? 2024 is going to be better, guys. It's going to be better. It has to be better. Right? Salut. Cheers. Take care. Stay blessed. Peace.